Hello viewers, welcome to today's lesson. I'm your teacher, Rule Duncan, a teacher of mathematics uh, in Namgongo Secondary and <coughs> Vocational School. Today's lesson is uh, going to be on equation of a straight line. Equation of a straight line. And by the end of this lesson, uh, we are going to be able to choose suitable scales. We shall be able to plot coordinates on the XY plane. We shall also be able to read from the XY plane. We are going to be able to read coordinates from the XY plane. Um, <clears throat> how do you uh, go about this work. We need to know in coordinate geometry what is a coordinate? What is a coordinate? Uh, we are going to look at a coordinate system which is a system used to locate a point given one or more uh, points. We shall use it to locate a point based on the, the number of coordinates given. <coughs> um, the XY plane, the XY plane is a grid of two number lines. We have two number lines, one drawn in the horizontal sense, the other one drawn in the vertical sense. Where those two number lines meet, we shall call that the origin. Uh, the, the, the number line that is lying horizontal is called, we give it the x-axis, and this one is the y-axis. The vertical axis is the y-axis. The vertical axis is the, uh, the y-axis. Now, under my objectives, Go under our objectives, we are going to look at how do you choose a suitable scale. Scales are chosen from multiples of 1, 2, and 5. These are the values where we choose our scales. You choose a scale using multiples or submultiples of 1, 2, and 5. Using multiples of 1, 2, and 5. Now, <clears throat> the X scale can be different from the Y scale. The vertical scale can be different from the horizontal scale. Now, the choice whether to use one, two, or five will depend on the data given. There are cases where you're going to use one and it will accommodate other values. Sometimes you can use two, sometimes you can use five. Other cases you can use multiples, bigger values, or uh, sub-multiples. That is when you have smaller values. Now, scales are written. For example, if you choose a scale of one, you write it at successive intervals. Every interval you go on adding one, one, if you have chosen a scale of one. If I've chosen a scale of two, I should go on writing two, 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 two. I go on adding two, two, two. Uh -huh. <clears throat> when you look at my grid here, I put arrows at the end, ending the y-axis, both up and down the x-axis. These arrows are important in the sense that they show continuity, that the, the axis is continuing. The axis is continuing. So a good graph must have well-labeled axis. It must have a uniform scale. And scales are multiples or submultiples of one, two, and five. Now, uh, if you consider a point, uh, if you consider a point, maybe point A, uh, 
consider point N. that point one eight you choose a suitable scale this in its sense it means that you are supposed to move eight steps your displacement must be eight units in the x axis or in the horizontal uh, direction and then you must be displaced by six steps in the vertical direction so Uh, we are going to look at an example where you are going to locate the following points. We are going to locate these points. Uh, we have point A, which is 3, 2. We have point B, which is 2, negative 4. We have point C, which is 0, 3. We have point D, which is 5, 0. And point E, which is negative 3, negative 1. Uh, the task before us is to use a Cartesian plane to plot those points. We are going to plot those points on a Cartesian plane. Now, if you are handling this work, you must use a graph paper. You must use a graph paper if it so happens that you are in an exam and you want to do such a number, ask the teacher for a graph paper. So I carried my grid here. Allow me to, to fix it here so that you can see. This is serving as my it is serving as our and we are going to plot these points. In plotting points, we have two standard measures. We have two standard measures in plotting points. Uh, someone can use a dot with a ring. Someone can use simply a cross. Those are the two agreed ways. But the first one, when you are when to use a dot and a ring, this ring, the radius must be the size of a small square. It must be as small as possible. The ring has to be half of a small square. So these are the two agreed ways we are going to plot. So for today, I'm going to use a dot and a ring. Let me take you through these points. First, let us look at our grid. This is my grid. I've drawn my axes. You can see them in green. The y axis is this vertical axis. Then I've also put in the x axis, as you can see. I've gone ahead to label the axis. You label the x axis is this horizontal line, the y-axis is that vertical line. The other name for the x-axis is the line uh, y equals zero. The line y equals zero. You can write here y equals zero. That is the other name for the x-axis. The other name here is uh, x equals zero. You can just write x equals zero or y equals zero. Let's start plotting class. We are going to plot point A, which is three, two. What does it uh, entail? We go to the origin. The origin is our starting point, zero, zero. Move three steps. You have a displacement of three steps. 
According to my scale here, I chose a scale of one. Every after two centimeters, I've been writing one, 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 one. You go on at one. The scale on the vertical axis is the same as the same. So it is the same as on the horizontal axis. So let us write plot three, two. Move three steps in the x direction. So this is one, two, three. Then move two in the vertical sense. In the same line where you ended, move two steps upwards. So you move one and two. So this is point A. You put a dot and a ring. You put a dot and a ring. So this is my ring. And this is point, point A, plotted. Remember, as we don't stop there, let's go to point B. Uh, you move two steps in the X direction, then you move four steps downwards, because it is negative, you go down in the negative sense. So it is going to be somewhere here. That is point B. Point C is 0, 3. 0 is at the origin. The displacement is 0 in the x axis. Then move 3 steps in the vertical. So it is going to be around there. Um, I got point D. D is 5, 0. Move 5 steps along and then don't move because the, the displacement in the vertical sense is 0. Lastly, Point E, negative three, negative one. Move now three steps on the negative side of the x-axis and one step uh, downwards. So this is going to be our point, uh, our point E, which is negative three, negative one. That's how we plot uh, coordinates. That's how we plot coordinates. You first move in the x sense then you move in the y and then fix a point now a situation can arise allow me to take off this a situation can arise where you are supposed to read coordinates from a given grid where you are supposed to read coordinates from a given grid. Assuming uh, I'm going to give you two points, maybe one, two, three, four. This is the x-axis, zero. Negative one, negative two, negative three. Maybe two, four, six, eight. This is the y-axis. Negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. Okay. <clears throat> now, assuming you have a point here, maybe this is point K, and another point here, maybe L, and maybe another one here, maybe M. And we want to get the coordinates of those points, the ones you see marked in red. I want to read of those coordinates for K, L, and M. Let me start with the K. As we upgrade, first move in the X direction. Look for how many steps he took in the x direction. So when I move here, uh, it is one step followed by four steps in the vertical. So first move one step, that is the x, then the vertical, we covered four steps. So it is going to be one, four. That is the coordinate of k. Now l, l is this one down here arrow is down here, so we moved, I'm putting in these red lines like that you can see clearly, 
L, again, first move on the x-axis. First move on the x-axis. We moved negative two steps. And then down we went six steps. Since we, we are going down, it becomes negative six. Lastly, uh, M. Point M is here. Let us locate it. Point M is at that point. Again, first move on the x-axis. We moved one unit and then up four steps. Um, dear viewers, to plot a point, you need to know both the vertical and the horizontal displacements. But we need to first of all look for the horizontal displacement, then we move in the vertical direction as well. So you first reach the x followed by the y coordinate. Doesn't stop there. Also look at the scale. In a grid, uh, I've displayed on the board here, the, the vertical scale is different from the horizontal scale. Because I said we choose for multiples of 1, 2, and 5. So for the horizontal scale, I've chosen a scale of 1, 1. You realize that I went on adding 1, 1, 1, 1. Then I went on subtracting 1, 1 to get the negatives. But when it came to the vertical scale, I chose a scale of 2. I went on adding 2, 2, 2. Meaning that when you choose a scale of 2, go on adding 2. Go on subtracting 2 to get the negatives. If you choose a scale of 5, go on adding 5, 5, 5, 5. Um, that is all about plotting. I want to give you a task. I want to give you a task. I want to draw on the Cartesian plane the following points. Draw on the Cartesian plane the following points. Draw on the Cartesian plane the following points. Uh, A a is negative 2, 3, B is 4, 3, C is uh, 2, negative 5. Let's try to plot those points on the Cartesian plane. Choose a suitable scale. Choose a suitable scale. Okay. Okay. 